All right, I'm doing a quick video. It's uh, quick and dirty. I am apologize in advance. Uh, I'm not doing screen video grabs and editing. I'm trying to shoot this in one shot. Had some requests for the uh, Dagma uh, General Aviation Simulator. Basically the um, six-pack steam gauge uh, version of the panel that they have with the control yoke. Um, one of my viewers wanted to know how to do the uh, panel install. So um, I'm going to kind of show that quickly. Uh, basically, I've got one TV um, set up. It's kind of hard to see in this light. Um, you can see it here. Uh, behind, I've got the LG ultra wide screen uh, mounted to the back of the panel. Um, was it? I think it was 29 inch. I can't remember. Um, but that's pretty straightforward. Both of them going into a. Uh, 1080 Ti video card, so that's pretty straightforward also. I've got a USB hub, I've got uh, some of the keys and stuff for uh, the license keys and stuff. Anyway, when I bought mine, um, I wasn't sure if I was doing Prepare 3D or X-Plane. I ended up doing X-Plane. Uh, I believe you have to use like FSIUP or f I forget what it is. Uh, if you're doing Prepare 3D, I didn't want to mess with it. They've got all the configs done for X-Plane, so I was like, cool, awesome, I'll do that. And I also bought the um, panel builder from them that contains all the panels. Um, if you've not bought the panel builder from them, uh, I believe if you've already owned panel builder, I think you can email them or go to their website and download the panel builder panels. I'm sure if you reach out to them, they can supply those to you. I don't think they had any upcharge for the uh, panel builder software. It was just a nice add-on where they prepackage it for you. So all that being said, um, wanted to share this. So what I've got here, um, sorry if it's a little jerky, I've got the panel builder manual, panel builder installer. I've already actually got it installed, but if you just basically double click on it, it says, do you want to install it? Yes. I accept yada, yada, yada. Now it asks you what you want to install. So in this case, I want to install panel builder for Dagma and I want to install the, um, Panel Builder Interfaces for x -Plane. Once you go through that, uh, it should go ahead and install everything. I'm not actually going to do this, but basically you just click through. It's pretty straightforward. Um, I've just got the USB drive here. It's got the license in it. Um, there is the manual where you can read all about Panel Builder, how to do it, etc., etc. It is long and by as much uh, information on here, I didn't really read it. So... <laughs> Uh, I just kind of mucked around and figured it out. So once I uh, did the um, panel builder install, you'll see that there is this panel builder FB, I think it says, um, icon. There's some. Other, I've also got the prepare 3D and the FS UIPC one, uh, but not using that, just using this panel builder. And I've got X-Plane. So, oops, that did not work very well. Okay. Sorry about that. It's hard trying to watch the mouse and watch the screen at the same time. So, and I've got lights on, which are really blurry in this. Give me one second and I will turn the lights off so we can get some better video. Okay, hopefully that's a little bit better. So, um, not only do I have Panel Builder installed, um, I also have the X-Plane config files that came with the alpha set. So this is a different setting. Um, I honestly don't remember what these uh, setting files do. Um, there is a PDF that explains where to move everything, which is really nice. Um, just follow these instructions. This was basically all I had to do to get this working. Um, you basically move some uh, config files. There's even a readme, um, which opened in my lower screen, which is actually a problem I haven't rectified yet. Um, anyway, follow the instructions on this. This will get all the uh, controls from the display configured so you can actually get it set up. It's really straightforward. Um, like I said, there's a manual. You just have to go find the files for X-Plane. Now, next thing is the panel builder. Um, All you have to do 
is you open panel builder you just double click on it and you need to load a panel now you need to figure out which panel you want to load and I have the Diagma DPA 1803 monitor 2 I believe this just means this uh, since I'm on my actually showing you my uh, primary monitor where the screen is this down here is my secondary monitor so I need the 1803 display that was the one that seemed to work for me uh, I can't remember what the other ones did I'm not gonna really mess with it uh, but that's what I have loaded and you can see I've got everything here I have an airspeed indicator, altimeter, all for the 172 nav VSI term. Da, 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 da. It's pretty straightforward. Now you can go edit the panel if you want. Uh, panel background, full desktop, no background, etc. I didn't mess with that either. So um, let's exit the programming section. Hold on. Let me reopen it again. So what I'm going to do. Um, when you open it, it says start. So I'm just going to back up a bit and click start. And if you notice, not everything's down there. A lot of it ended up on my first screen. Now why it did that, no clue. Honestly, no clue. Um, actually, what I'll do, um, I'll close this. I'll show you how to move them around. Maybe I need to do the panel one. Let me see if uh, maybe that's my issue. Let me try the 1803. Start. No. That also went way too high. But we will mess with this anyway. Okay, so what you need to do is each one of these um, icons, I'll start with the uh, vertical speed. If you right click on it, it's got settings, which has like the display for the X plane, whether it's the pilot or the co pilot, and then the maximum rate. Um, that you want to show on here. So I'm just leaving the default, but you need to unlock it. And then what you do is you just click and drag it. And you'll see it come down on my display here. And it's basically just goes right in to the display. Uh, let's see if I can move it a bit to the right. You kind of fiddle with it, then you lock it. Now there's only one of these that seems to give me problems. And it's this one. It's the... Uh, Attitude indicator. So if I move this down, let's see if this does it. Um, I think it's the attitude, or is it the airspeed? Uh, let's see. And the the cutouts aren't quite as big as the icons, but it works pretty well. Lock. Okay. Maybe it's the airspeed. One of these wasn't working too well. It might have been the uh, settings for the. Um, for that screen too actually so that'd be nice if it's not the screen too but uh, for whatever reason I'm not sure if it's because I'm using a TV and my resolution slightly off on my TV and my resolution is different on this one these are not quite lining up um, perfectly but you know for all intents and purposes they are doing just fine and basically you just do this um, unlock it move it down and relock it. And I'll just move these real quickly. Unlock. I'm just being loosey goosey with this. Unlock. Lock. Uh, let's see. Just trying to do this very quickly. Um, try not to make this video too long. I'll be right back after I've done the rest of them so that I don't make this video too terribly long. Okay, so everything's kind of set up. Um, basically what I'm going to do now is just make sure everything's off. Um, I just kind of like to sit with everything off. Um, and that should be good. So then all I need to do, because I've already installed all the plugins for X-Plane, is just select it. And it may uh, ask you for... Um, I'm seeing if this is loading. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see behind it. It may ask you for some settings. Uh, I'm gonna, just going to go to the settings real quick. We'll go to the uh, the joystick, and basically I've got all these things here. So I've got the button interface here. Everything's already 
pre-done, which is nice. It just says it's uncalibrated. I got the DFP 1805. Um, this, no axis, it's just a bunch of buttons. Um, my rudder pedals. This video, I'm not sure. Um, but that seems to be it. I thought there was maybe one more. Maybe I'm wrong. I have no idea. Anyway, let's see what happens. Uh, new flight. We'll do the Cessna Skyhawk. And we will just start a random flight real quick and see what this does. I'll be back when the flight is loaded. Okay, it's almost done loading. Um, I just kind of want to show what happens when it loads in. I didn't want to miss it. Okay, so we're loaded. We've got uh, everything here. If you notice, my altimeter just moved automatically, which is wonderful. Um, not even sure which airport I selected, which is kind of cool. Um, anyway, could it be Dallas? I'm not sure. Anyway, um, so what I can do is I can turn the ignition. Or actually, I'll turn off master. Once I turn master on, should uh, turn avionics on. I'm not seeing everything working actually. Uh, my GPS came up. Uh, that's actually done the same way that you'd normally do it. You'd have to go into the um, cockpit view, right click on it and basically detach it and then drag it down to the screen and position it. That's a bit of a pain, but that's what you have to do. Um, And I've got no sound for some reason, um, which is annoying. Not sure what happened. My daughter's been flying this and it looks like I've got no sound. Here we go. Change the mixture, but it's kind of hard to do this with no sound. It looks like I've got uh, my propeller spinning. Um, can drop the flaps. Um, let's see what else. Let's uh, punch the throttle and see what happens. I've got brakes on. So I need to uh, hit the parking brake off and it should start rolling. There we go. So that is the uh, quick setup. Hopefully uh, that helps out. Oops. Uh, my pedals, my rudder pedals are not centered, which is not too great. Uh, and someone's been messing with the uh, calibration on this apparently. That's what I get for kids. Alright, so there we go. Kind of going down the runway. Going kind of slow actually. I'm not sure what's going on. It's Like I said, it's kind of hard to hear um, anything, so... Actually, I can't hear a darn thing. I'm not sure who turned the audio off. Um, airspeed's coming alive, albeit very slowly. So I'm not sure if I've got brakes on or something else. It's really quite hard to to see what's going on. Normally, you'd have uh, the um, the audio to help you you out here. Um, oh, there we go. I'll just change the mixture a bit. Uh, and I'm not doing a very good job because I'm doing this one-handed and off we go. Okay, so um, There we go And that's it. All right, good luck. Let me know if you have any problems feel free to uh, Subscribe hit the little alarm button to see my next uh, videos and good luck and safe flights